But then also in college, I learned to speak Pennsylvania Dutch. And that's actually kind of where my main area of published research is now. And that's a language that is, um, again, very similar to Yiddish relative to German. It's sort of related to it, but it's distinct from it. It's not a dialect of it or anything. And it's also now today associated with um, members of very socially conservative religious communities. So like Yiddish to the Hasidim is Pennsylvania Dutch is to the Amish, for example. And then because Yiddish and the German components of Yiddish and Pennsylvania Dutch are extremely similar because there, it was the Rhineland area of German-speaking Europe where it kind of both sort of originated. Um, there's sort of an interest that way too. And so then my interest in Yiddish really became very kind of like what was Yiddish like or is Yiddish like in the American context. And so most of my research on Yiddish is similar to what I do in um, like Pennsylvania Dutch studies or German American studies, which is like looking at how Yiddish is a vernacular language in as a slice of American multicultural, multilingual life.